Hey there, Coach Tyler here, and we all know that one of the most important things in feeling good in our body, especially as we age, is maintaining our flexibility. And there's a lot of different stretching routines out there, yoga classes, etc. But the truth is, you don't really need that many stretches to start feeling amazing in your body and loosening up all your muscles. So today what I'm gonna do is show you four simple beginner stretches, two for the lower body and two for the upper body that are gonna stretch most of the muscles in your body. You can literally do each one of these stretches for just one minute per day. And in less than five minutes, you'll feel significantly better. So without further ado, let's head on over to the first stretch. Oh, before we go any further, I should just mention that I'm not your doctor. So make sure you get these things cleared by them first, okay? We're here to help you feel better in your body, but be smart, okay? If you have tight shoulders or a tight upper back, one of my favorite stretches to really open up the chest, open up the shoulders, and even open up the upper spine is called the high chair down dog. So what you'll need is a nice sturdy chair right in front of you, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on the chair, and if you want to, you can even turn your thumbs toward the sky. When you turn your thumbs toward the sky, that's gonna force your shoulders into a position where you're gonna get more and more stretch through the torso rather than through the shoulder joint itself. So thumbs toward the sky, walk your feet back, and from there, you're gonna let your body come between your arms like this, okay? Now slow and controlled, if this still feels kinda of hard for you, you can always put your hands on something a little bit higher or even put your hands on the wall in front of you as you do this stretch. From there, you can soften your knees. You don't have to keep your knees straight or anything. And you're just gonna take a big breath in as you kinda of try to continuously drive your chest towards the ground like this. So big breath in, and then as you exhale, try to just relax and bring that chest towards the ground. And every single time you breathe in, think about long spine, think about long through the shoulders, so don't scratch the shoulders up, lock the elbows long through the shoulders, and then bring your chest a little bit lower. And if you hold this thing for 30 seconds to a minute, oh my goodness, you're gonna feel a giant stretch coming all the way through the back sides of the arms, into the armpits, all the way through the lats, even into the stomach, and you'll also feel your hamstrings getting stretched at the same time. One of my absolute favorite upper body stretches, which will help you with your posture and loosening up all the muscles of the chest and the shoulder. So make sure you give this one a shot as often as possible. Out of all the people I've ever worked with, one of the tightest muscles that I see on most people is the hamstrings, which is the back side of the leg. And they get really tight because we end up sitting all day long and they never end up getting stretched to their full potential. So I'm gonna show you my favorite hamstring stretch right now that you can do while lying in bed, either before bed or first thing in the morning to loosen up those hands, okay? So you'll need a towel and all you need to do is lay down and grab that towel and you're gonna loop it over your foot like this, just over the arch of your foot, and you're gonna extend your leg like this and then drop the other one towards the ground. Now, it doesn't matter where you start at. If you're all the way down here and you feel a hamstring stretch, that's totally fine. Or if you're up higher, that's fine too. The big things you wanna do here are make sure that your hips are touching the ground. So you wanna make sure that this hip isn't up or opened up or anything like that. You wanna make sure that your shoulder blades are down and relaxed. So you don't wanna be shrugged up and tight on your face like this either, okay? And then from there, Tall to the top of your head, take a big breath in, and as you inhale, you can, you can try to drive a little force, almost like you're trying to push your leg back towards the ground to activate the hamstring a little. So big inhale, activate the hamstring, and then a big exhale, and just let your elbows come towards the ground and try to stretch a little deeper. Big inhale, big exhale, come towards you a little bit more. And you can just repeat this, taking a big inhale where you're driving and activating that hamstring, and then a big exhale, trying to pull it closer to your body. Hold it for at least one minute on the left side, and then like I like to do with every stretch, let go, and then sit up and compare how your body feels. And what you'll feel is this entire side from your glute all the way down to your heel is gonna feel a lot more relaxed, a lot more loose, significantly better compared to your other side. So from there, make sure you stretch the other side. And then do this stretch every single day. Try to do it either first thing when you wake up or last thing before you go to bed. And if you do that, you're gonna start your day great and you're gonna sleep significantly better. If you have a tight groin, meaning the muscles on the insides of your thighs, then the seated straddle stretch is my favorite for helping loosen those muscles up. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come into a seated position and you're gonna bring your legs out as far as you can. 
It literally doesn't matter if you're here or if your legs are all the way out sideways in the splits. What's important is that you can sit upright in this position. If for any reason, when you're in this position, you find yourself rounding your back like this as you're doing it, what you can do is put a couple pillows underneath your butt and lift your butt off the ground, and that should allow you to straighten your spine in this position. From there, what you're gonna do is just move forward and back, trying to bring your belly button towards the ground. And over time, you can just go a little deeper and a little deeper, and you can inhale as you come up, exhale as you come down. Put your hands in front of you for support if you need. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you come down. Again, trying not to think about driving your head towards the ground and rounding your back like this, but rather trying to think about bringing your whole body, your belly button, towards the ground as you loosen up these muscles. Now, at some point, you might be nice and deep bent forward like this. You can come back up, and you know what you can do? You can scoot your butt forward and drive your legs out even more, and then start over again, right? Just really loosening the hips up. And I really like this stretch because you can do the stretch while watching TV, while looking at your phone, any time of day. So start adopting doing more stretches throughout your day to loosen up your muscles, and it's gonna pay dividends in the long run, trust me. So practice this for at least one minute, but the groin can take a lot to loosen up. So 90 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, however long you feel like you'd like to sit in this stretch, and it's gonna help loosen up all the muscles right here, which when you bring your legs back together, you're gonna notice Ooh, my hips feel significantly better. So practice that stretch daily and you won't regret it. So many of us sit for a living all day long and what it does to our posture is it makes our back go like this. And what we really wanna do is we wanna open up the chest and make our body look more like this. This stretch, the shoulder stretch, is one of my favorite movements to accomplish that. So what you're gonna do is start in a seated position. You can do this on the ground. You can do this in a chair even with your legs bent if that's a little bit easier. You're gonna turn your fingertips backwards behind you like this. And the first thing you wanna do is just lift your chest toward the sky. So I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades back and I'm gonna drive them down and lift my chest toward the sky. And immediately, you should feel a little bit of a stretch coming through your chest, maybe even through your shoulders. Now, if that's enough for you, that's totally fine. Just doing this and opening up your chest once a day, twice a day, is gonna make a huge difference on how your upper back, your chest, your shoulders, your whole upper body is gonna feel way better if you do it. But if you wanna make it a little harder, what you can do is start to scoot your body away from your shoulders. So again, don't round your shoulders forward like this. Keep them back and down as you do the stretch, but you can start walking your body forward like this, and eventually you'll find a position where you get an insane stretch coming all the way through the bicep, the shoulder, the chest, all those at the same time. And in this position, you can just breathe. And as you exhale, try to think about lifting the chest more. Take a big breath in to the belly, and then exhale, lift the chest even more. And once you find your chest is lifted as high as you can, just do a little teeny bit more, right? Now you can hold this stretch anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, and you can do it every single day. And if you do, it's going to improve your posture, loosen the chest, loosen the shoulders, and make you feel so much better in your body. And that's what it's all about, right? Feeling better in your body. So make sure you do the stretch every single day. If you can.